Hi friends, welcome to Vicreation Technologies. Today we are going to discuss about copy multiple files from one location to another location in C Sharp or I can say copy, file, copy multiple files from one folder to another folder in C Sharp. So in my last video I had explained to you about copy file from one location to another location in C Sharp. So where I had just explained like with the use of the file.copy method we can uh, copy that particular file from one location to the another location in C Sharp. So here we are just going to use the same concept but in place of a single file we are just trying to copy multiple files from one location to another location in the C Sharp. So first what I am just uh, trying to do is that so first I will take uh, like the one folder under that folder it contains multiple files and the, those files can be of like text file, PDF file or, or any kind of photos or any kind of file okay and I am just trying to filter some of the uh, files from that uh, folder or even if I can take all those files and by using the file.copy method I will put a for each loop over top of over that and by using that I will just copy those files from the source location to the destination location. Overall the concept is same that we are just going to use the file.copy but here for the multiple files we are just going to use the for each loop or even if we can use the for loop. So the loop is essential to copy those files from one location to another. So let me show you the code. All right. So here I'm just going to use the two folders. So here in, in the in the delete drive and test folder, here you can see uh, I kept couple of files and those files are like text text files, uh, JPG like those are the photos and uh, and a PDF files. Even if you can add any number of uh, files into, into into that file but here I have added only six files here okay now uh, I created another folder which is my destination folder so from the source folder which is the test folder I'm just trying to copy those files from that source folder to the destination folder and here you can see this folder is completely empty so 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 in the in the, in the, in the visual studio so let me create a variable uh, the variable is type of string so the source folder name now equal to so I'm just going to give you the source folder name so where all my uh, all my files are present okay so and here I, will, I, I just need to add the at the rate and now I'm just going to create another uh, variable which is the destination folder name. So my destination folder is the, the test one folder. Okay. So uh, now the next thing what I am just trying to uh, do is so from the source folder name I will retry all the text files. So let me create a variable get all files now equal to so here I am just going to use the directory. So, so basically this D drive and test folder so basically this is a directory and from the directory or you can see the folder so from the directory we are just trying to get all those files dot get files method we are just going to use so this get files uh, method contains three overloaded methods so the first overloaded method takes the uh, which is the which is the path uh, which is the path of the uh, folder name now the next is the path and the pattern and the third is the path pattern and the search option. So I'm just going to use the uh, second second overloaded methods even if I can use the first one also but here I'm just going to use the second one because I need a filter of the text file. So that's the reason I'm just going to use the second overloaded methods. So if I don't need a filter of the text files then I can use the first overloaded methods. So here I, I just need to pass the source folder name then 
here like uh, what type of files I just want to filter it so here uh, the text files I'm just trying to filter so if I hover the mouse over the get files methods then the written type of get files is the string array so I can change this one to string array also even if I can uh, I can kept uh, where also so, so there is no issue with that so when this uh, when this particular line of code executes so it will retrieve all the files from that source folder which contains the text files so in my source folder it contains there are three text files so when this line of code executes then it should get the three text files and if it is not getting getting three text files then then obviously my code is wrong so now after that i will apply a for each loop even if i can uh, i can apply a for loop also but it it, it basically depends upon the uh, uh, programmer to programmer whether they can use the for loop or for each loop anything is fine but i am just going to use the for each loop so here i will add a variable now uh, I'm just trying to access all the files in the for each loop. So now you can see here from the source folder we retrieved all the files. Now destination folder is uh, we know what is the destination folder name, but we need to know what what is the file name and what is the extension, and we need to merge this one file name and the extension name with the folder name. The reason is because when we are just going to uh, do a copy operation, so at that time we should have the, the the location of the destination file. Means which means we know that drive is D drive and the folder name is test one, but we don't know. So what is the what is what is the file name and what is the extension name? So first of all, we are just uh, going to retry the file name so for that file name what uh, we need to use path so basically path is a uh, class and which is also present under the system.io namespace so path dot get file name without extension so here i just need to pass the uh, the, the path of the file so the path of the file is file all right so this here you can see this file came from the for each loop and this this file you know it came from the get all files so get all file contains all the text files and uh, so in the for each loop uh, so when it go for goes for the first loop then it will retrieve the first file and here in this file name it will retrieve the of uh, file name of the text file without the extension so after that we need uh, the extension also like i can write path dot get extension so we have a get extension uh, method is there so which will return what is the extension uh, name of that particular file and here also we are just going to give the same file as the parameter so now i got the file name i got the extension name now i need to merge this file name and extension name with the destination folder name so so where destination file name equal to destination folder name plus file name plus the extension all right so this destination file name is nothing but about combination of that destination folder name and and what is the the the, the file which we are going to copy from the source location to the destination location so we should know what is the what should be the file name okay so due to that reason i am passing here the file name and what should be the extension so that uh, that also i uh, added in that same line so now i am just going to use the file dot copy method
and here it also contains the two overloaded methods but we are just going to use the first overloaded methods so what is the uh, like the source uh, what is what is the source file name so our source file name is the file and the destination file name is dst file name you can see here so when i will uh, just run this application i will i will show you like with the line by line so how it will just copy the source file into the destination file so let me put a breakpoint here uh, as well as inside the porridge loop so the breakpoint got hit so let me press f10 all right source folder name is d drive test folder my destination folder name is uh, d drive test one folder so when i will just execute this directory dot get files line uh, so we should get three files okay so here you can see under the zero location it contains the file one dot txt under the one location it contains the file fifteen dot txt and, and under the second location it got it contains the file seventy eight dot txt now if we apply a for each loop over there so here in the file you can see so so this is my source folder okay so this is my source folder and which contains the source file name so my source file name is file1.txt which is present under the dreaven test folder now if i execute it the next line so here you can see my file name is file1 so here you can see the file name is file1 and the extension is .txt now if i execute this uh, destination file name now you can see here so my destination file name is d drive test one folder and file one dot txt so when we apply a file dot copy then it will copy that file one dot txt from the source folder to the destination folder and if i if i run it uh, again for the second loop then it, it it does the same so now let me press continue all right so the program got executed now if i go to the source folder which is my test test folder which is present under the uh, d drive then here you can see the the same amount of files are present but if i go to the, my destination folder which is the test one dot which is which is the test one folder then i should see the only the text files so here you can see you can see file 1 file 50 and file 78.txt so so let me uh, remove these files again and so to refactor this code what i can do uh, in place of uh, like writing three lines of codes i can i can i can write like this and for for the for that extension also i can change that code All right so now i can uh, remove this piece of code so now uh, now we 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 just saw like how we can copy the text file from the source folder to the destination folder now i'm just going to remove this uh, text file so 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 what is our what we are expecting the output is like will copy all the files from the source folder to the destination folder so let me again uh, run the application so here you can see the breakpoint got hit now let me pre directly press the continue all right so once the application stop uh, so let's go let's go and check the source folder which is the test folder and here you can see like six files are present now if we go to the test one folder so this is our destination folder so there are also the same amount of files are present right so there is one more thing is like in 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 place of the for each loop i can use the simple for loop and the the amount of code is same 
but here you need to do a couple of uh, changes like for the for, for loop so like here uh, to 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 retrieve the for loop you you need to pass like get all files of array of 0 1 2 and all those things and you need to pass those here inside the uh, inside the just get file name uh, without extension method as well as in the get extension method and the amount of code is same so in place of the for each loop we are just going to use the for loop so that's it now the next thing is uh, someone asked like uh, what is the alternative of file dot copy so the file dot copy is provided by the microsoft i think this is the best thing we can uh, use to copy those files from one location to another location whether it can be a single file or multiple files that is fine but there is another way is there but that way is little bit complex so i'm just uh, like just going to tell you within a few seconds so so what we need to do is like first we need to create the folder and after that under un, under the destination folder we need to create that file okay now from the source file we need to read all those data from the source file and we need to write under that destination file so this process is a little bit complex like first you need to read and then you need to write it and this process is a complex one and it will take some more time but if you if you are going to use the file dot copy then it will take much more less than time as compared to the read and write operation and here you can see uh, i had explained like you can uh, you can copy any type of file this is not uh, specific to the text file or not specific to the pdf file you can copy the excel file also you can copy the csv file also you can copy the copy those pictures also jpg jpg or jpeg or anything uh, now the last thing is like someone asked like without using the for for each loop or for loop can we do that uh, like file dot copy i don't think so it is possible because see we are uh, doing a multiple copies uh, of files from one location to another location so without for each loop it is not possible so this is all about our today's video thank you Please like and subscribe to our channel.